hello everybody hello again this is the third video about research uh, paper third year students morning and evening classes research methodology here is a very good brief idea about the research this is a set of systematic technique used in research technique it means way this simply means a guide to research and how it is conducted. It describes and analyzes uh, and analysis methods, throws more light on their limitation and resources, clarify their presuppositions and consequences. So it is the way you analyze or make or conduct your research. Why we follow a research methodology? Here are six advantages of following a research. First one, advancement of wealth of a human being. Advancement, it means how to progress in your research. If you have a way of progression, you are in the right way. Provision of tools for carrying out a research. Provision means clarity. وضوح الأدوات المستخدمة. So if you have a method, you will have a clear tools to clarify or to make your research. Develop a critical and scientific attitude, disciplined thinking to observations, uh, to observation. How you make your, uh, we can say, at scientific attitude, your scientific thinking. It makes, if you have a way, your progress in thinking and making your attitude will be in the right way. It's just like a plan. Enrichment of the research process and the provision of chance for in-depth study and understanding of the project. If you have a plan or a methodology to follow, you will go in the right way without misguidedness or uh, misunderstanding. You will know where you are going in depth in the right way but without that methodology you will be just like moving from one point to another without any plan in your mind five helps to calculate the ability to evaluate and use research results the plan or the methodology will tell you to which point you want to reach what is your final result expected final result it is not open-ended if you have a research without a plan or methodology, your research may take 10 years because you don't have any plan to go. Six, calculates the ability to learn to read and think critically. Inculcates means it will enable you to promote your way of thinking, reading, and uh, evaluating critically. Making more researches will give you additional experience to write and rethink again. From this point, we have several types of research methodology. We have five types. Survey, case study, simulation, subjective or argumentative research, action research. Survey. good. This is used to obtain data about practices, situation views at one point in a time through questionnaire or interviews. When you want to know or to get data from people about a specific point in a specific point of time, specific situation, specific problem in a specific point of time by making questionnaires or sorry, interviews. Case study. This involves an attempt to describe relationships which exist in reality. Case study, when you have a specific case and you want to know the behavior of that case, so you will go for it and observe it in the real life. For example, if you want to see what is the influence of for example, the use of internet on the school life. So you just observe the case of a specific group of people 
then you'll write your research. Simulation. This involves copying the behavior of a system and is used in situations where it is difficult to solve problems analytically. When you simulation, when you see a behavior of such a system or a way or a problem used in another situation in a similar one and you want to make a similar thing without uh, making analyses or questionnaires or reviews just like you want to imitate something okay it typically involves the introduction of random variables it has a problem of making the data collected sufficient enough to resemble reality so it will have a resemble um, similar data from other sources just like to be in real life Subjective or argumentative research. This is used for generating new theories and ideas, which can subsequently be tested. It is subject to research bias. Subjective when you want to make a research about a new theories or a new ideas. So you want to suppose something new, but your theories, your supposed ideas will be uh, subject to critics and to bias. Bias in Harafter. It is something, uh, I know it is theory, but the theory cannot come just like random. No. The researcher will make a great effort to complete or to give a new theory. After that, the researchers will criticize or uh, check, test your theories. Action research is the most useful form of research. It involves application in which the researcher attempts to develop results or obtain solutions of a practical value to the people with whom the researcher is working and at the same time developing theoretical knowledge. Action research, when you have a problem and you want to conduct something, some action to prove your results. This is the most important thing in the uh, side of geometry uh, engineering in general if you want to make something or to test something you want to make an action for example making something in the lab or in the site plan or whatever not uh, collecting data or no no you want you have raw materials and you make an action you make an application of something so this is the action research okay that's enough for this, for today, and we'll see 